Oh my God, I could have been caught in the middle of a bisexual maelstrom with Astrid, Eadwulf, Essek, and Jester all in the same adventure? Eadwulf, hand out. He countered your <gasps> He countered my counterspell. Oh, oh God, all. this is a wizard fight. This is wizard's chess. <laughs> How dare you use radiant energy against a cleric? And cast Globe of Invulnerability so that it encompasses myself and Essek. It does not work. Astrid around this corner. <gasps> oh, oh my wow. gosh. Jeez. Has her hand out after dispelling it. Wow. <laughs> her arms flex outward and the maze-like tattoos on her hand begin to glow with blue energy. And there's this strange, like, almost a rhythmic like pulse to the tattoos on her arm and the glowing of energy. Fuck it. I'm gonna cast Dominate Person mm. on Astrid. You wanna fight on our side? You wanna defend us? Take them out. Her eyes look over towards you. There's no change in her demeanor. It's Ada Wolf's turn. Starts his glyph chant as well. He starts moving quicker, and you see the flashes of energy throughout the tattoos on his body beginning to pulse with that same rhythmic energy. Right up to you, Caleb. <laughs> darts up in your face uh, with his long sword out and kind of underneath his arm this way. He goes, you know, it's just business. <laughs> and he's going to go telling ahead. yourself that. <laughs> As he sweeps underneath and catches you in the side of the thigh and you <laughs> fall like a sack of potatoes in the middle of the mossy ground here. He's going to follow up with a secondary attack over top. As he shoves the blade in, I'm going to grab it a little. I'm going to look at him and say, Wolf, this is your chance. As you're kind of holding it there, the, the blood kind of in your hand, it's like. <sighs> it just kind of growls back at you. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Ale Wolf and match swords. <clears throat> Let's do it. Cross swords. I really, really am glad this is happening. I don't like you. That is. No, it does feel like there's like. 23 to hit. A lot of sexual 23 does hit. Yeah. Like this is. This is all kind of hot. 25. That's how I wrote it. Both hit. Great. Are we all going to have sex after this? Well, there's one version of it where that does happen. <laughs> <laughs> there's another version where we all die. He spins around right as you rush up towards him yeah. and tries to strike the blade back, but it's too strong and the impact glides off the sword and catches him in the side of the arm. He's like, Ugh! The second one, he brings up the blade to meet it and it catches it and you just push forward even further and sink it into his shoulder and he goes, Ugh! Yeah. Well done! And kind of like shoves it off and flicks it, his little blood begins to pour out of the wound and he's like, <laughs> You excited? Hexblade's curse. Ah, uh, there you go. <laughs> Bonus action. Yes, hi. Ah, nice. ooh. Oh my. Hex. What? Oh, you're, having, you're having hex with each other. <laughs> hex, bitch. I finish your turn, Ford? Yes. I want to right. hex you up. Beth, it's your turn. Caduceus, you're on deck. Um, Holy shit. Essek is going to go ahead and. Actually, he's going to go ahead and move half speed and drag Caleb back 15 feet. I'm gonna fly down to Eadwulf and take a swing. 29 points of damage. I hate fighting. Wow. So much. That's a lot of damage. That's 67 points of damage. That's hot. Yeah. Eadwulf uh, is looking real bad. <laughs> oh yeah? After those two strikes from Yashi, he's like, oh. He's just kind of looking at both of you. Looks back at Astrid. Got to switch sides? <laughs> now it's Astrid's turn. She's gonna go ahead and cast a fifth level lightning bolt at Trent Oh, no, let's go! Oh, Jester Lavore. Oh, She's on our Come side. On. Come on. on. Her eyes blink a bit. <sighs> looks back at you, looks at Caleb, looks at Trent, and just kind of like. Mm. All right. You go and release the spell, and you watch as that series of intertwined glyphs that had absorbed the lightning bolt yeah. shatters. He had a second shield up, and it was he just, just a spell. It. I love my friends. 
Eight wolves go. He's not doing well. He's gonna go ahead and look at you. Join us. Self preservation. He's gonna cast Dimension Door on himself and vanishes from sight. Whoa, dispel! Dispel. Or counter counter spell, yeah. He goes, Come on. Join me. It's not too late for you. As Essek, now behind Caleb, kind of gets back a bit and is keeping an eye on Astrid as well, but as he kind of floats down over the mossy ground, gathers his hands, and then releases this torrent of black electrical energy that blasts into Trent. Oh boy. And he's like, he gets such wonderful toys. <laughs> Caleb? <laughs> I'm scared. As I kind of arc down, I'm gonna, I have the collar in hand, and I'm gonna attempt to whip it around his neck. The collar slaps around his neck. It's not activated. No. No. But it's on his neck. And it's got that. And Trent is like, <laughs> what is this? And he's like, grabs it for a second. And it's like, <laughs> and I just kind of grab his hands. I kind of grab his hands. So you hand. you're grappled on him. You're like holding him there since you succeeded in the grapple. So now he's like flying in the air right now. Beauregard has him held and the collar is around his neck. And I just, I like wrap my legs around him and I lock my feet in like, uh, full MMA grapple. I'm just trying to lock everything in. Okay, you got My it. old accent go, eight seconds! Eight <laughs> seconds! <laughs> Trent is going to attempt to dimension door out of the grasp. <gasps> counter spell. Counter spell. Can I counter spell? No, you just did. Yeah, I did. Yeah, you do not have the ability, you do not have the reaction. I do. Right. Ooh. Are you in range? Yeah. Yeah. You are. Count. Fifth level right. counter spell. How? What? What did? What did you just say? Fifth level. Yeah. You used a fifth level slot, so you don't have to roll. I'm your Huckleberry. Does <laughs> Aod Wolf can't counter the counter? Right? Are we good? Aod Wolf does not. Yes. They see it. Oh, they, they see the end. They know. Well, I see a bow get up there and just start riding. A solid eight seconds. One hand up. <laughs> Can <laughs> I see Trent start to conjure? Nah, she rides bareback real solid. Trent's <laughs> <laughs> blade is back! <laughs> and right, right as he gathers the energy in the center and puts his arms out to create the doorway that folds on him, the doorway just fizzles. And like, like a turtle yeah. trying to fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you say something about face in your face? <laughs> Another one of these stars. At you, Caleb. Yeah, bring it. Ooh. That's a natural 20, buddy. Unfortunately. Fuck it. Bring the pain. Okay, buddy. Hey, what did no. you put on me? You put oh, death Oh, no, never mind. You dropped to one. You have a death, death ward. Oh! <laughs> Cleric. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Not today! <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna finish Shikathon's turn. For a bonus action, mm -hmm. um, I am going to get right up in his face and scream a battle cry. I am going to yeah. dispel the fly off this bitch. As he and Beauregard plummet from the air 30 feet. Yes! He just <laughs> falls out of the air and Whack! Hits the ground. Pfft. Kind of wily coyote dust gathers around him as Beauregard's there, like standing on top of him, still holding the collar present. Yeah, still, still, yeah, holding the collar. That's cool. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. Staying put, Caleb? Um, so hot? <laughs> no, I'm going to walk up and stand. This uh, is a sexy fight, I'm just saying. It's a, it's a, this is a sexy I mean, I know it's dangerous. Mm. No, but I'm at one hit point. Fuck a duck. Yeah, you're hurt. What are you doing? Take him down. I'm gonna have faith in my friends. I'm gonna. Well, I gotta activate that collar. I'm gonna walk up. Yes, you do. Uh, and get just behind Beauregard, looking over her shoulder, down at him. Astrid's gonna approach. And just look down at him, next to you. Look at you. And go. What is this? The end of his mouth.
the chant still pulsing through her tattoos, she stands there and just kind of begins to cast a spell and holds it in place, just staring at him. Looks back to you. Show me. Do you want him alive? Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> Take him alive. Okay. Then in that case, I'm going to... I'm going to cast Heal on you, Caleb. Okay. You're going to get 70 hit points back. Whoa. Oof. And Wolf is like right up against you, Ford, like. <laughs> Choose wisely. <laughs> This is a sword. Good move. And he goes and takes a few steps. And right as Trent impacts, Aidwolf just goes. Oh, oh, it's like Kill Bill. On the yeah, ground. the five, five point 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 technique. <laughs> as Essek glides over, stay down. He puts his hand out, and as he closes his fingers, Trent's body. I step on his chest, kneel down. And over and activate it. Come on. Fuck. Low roll. 15. There's something about this not activating. Your confidence begins to falter in your face as you begin to fumble with the device. Yeah. As you have your hands on the device, a second set of hands comes and pushes yours aside. As <gasps> Astrid begins to bend down. <gasps> Sixteen plus eight. Ooh. The side that you're holding, she glances over and finds one trigger that had come loose. Mm. She presses it back into place, squeezes your hand at once. You hit both sides. The red gem that you had embedded as the power source <laughs> flickers on with a buzz. Watch your fingers. And Trent suddenly goes like, <sighs> "You're always better at solving problems than I was." I am going to ah. dispel the fly off this bitch. He just whack hits the ground. Astrid's gonna approach. And just look down at him next to you. You have been weighed. As Essek glides over, stay down. You have been measured. I am just fully perched on Trent Ikathon's chest. Still pinning him down. And you absolutely stand over him and put my boot on his junk. Have been found wanting. Get down close. Welcome to the new world. God save you if it is right that he should do so. You know, for the longest time, I thought this would be impossible, but I still dream about it, of taking your life. But death is too good for you. You are to be exposed, humbled, and brought low. Settle into that idea. I come out of the building once it's extinguished with Eadwolf by the hand, and pull him down and kneel in front of her as well, I'm holding his hand and tapping my forehead to hers. I am so sorry for what you both went through. I loved you both so much, but what we believed in was a lie, and it still is. And now, we must be strong. Now. She pulls back. Wipes her face off. Grabs Aidwolf's arm and pulls him away from you. And they just start walking away. Thank you. 
find me when you need to. You see Wolf kind of look over his shoulder a bit, like... And the two of them just... disappear 